pretty cool. Uh, Sony announces PlayStation Stars loyalty program. This is launching apparently later this year and is free to join. And you can earn rewards by completing campaigns and activities. So an example would be a monthly check-in campaign that requires you to play just any game to receive a reward. Kind of smacks of desperation, but okay, here we go. There's monthly other campaigns and activities, including competing in tournaments, earning specific trophies, or being the first player in a particular time zone to platinum a blockbuster title. That's cool. PlayStation Plus members earn more rewards than non-subscribers and it does not replace Sony rewards. The idea was to create a program that honors the role PlayStation may have had in someone's life. Well, that's a really weird note. What I have lofty, no idea what that what means. What a lofty goal. It's what named after heck? stars because stars are apparently unbound and limitless. Okay. Lining up with Sony's slogan, play has no limits. All right. Frankly, this is feeling kind of cringe. This is weird. Uh, all PlayStation Stars members will have the opportunity to earn loyalty points, and they can redeem them in a Neat. catalog which may include PSN wallet funds and select PlayStation Store products. So in-game achievements essentially now have real value tied to them. Is it a matter of time until you can buy achievements? So we have a cash achievement store that you can then redeem for, for PSN wallet funds. And then, oh my goodness. And all I... the currencies are just into it. We're going to have like a, like a real-time... like. Sony currency exchange, you know, market. I think some of the marketing around this is is weird and cringe, like you said earlier. Uh, but I don't think it's a bad idea. I think rewarding, like, like they're talking about like a speed run to get to platinum a game in a certain time zone. Like rewarding players that are going to be that enthusiastic for your games. I guess so. It doesn't seem very scalable. Like I maybe reward the first thousand or something. I, I don't know. Oh, but you just make a race. And I mean, they could do that in the future. They could scale it up. Yeah, sure. And they, they talked about how, like, there's, there's, I suspect there's going to be a variety of different types of rewards and those types of things. Um, but they're, they're, they're rewarding their super hardcores, which makes sense to me. Float plane chat speculating that it's a matter of time before these, they they just are all NFTs. Um, <laughs> there's no indication if, uh, these digital collectibles that they are going to be able to reward people with can be traded or sold. Language used makes them sound a little bit like NFTs, but Sony VP Grace Chen says it is not leveraging any blockchain technology and definitely is not NFTs. I mean, we've talked about this before. You can accomplish a lot of the the things that people think about when they think of an NFT yes. without using blockchain or anything like that and being way more energy efficient and all that type of stuff, but just not using those types of security methods and i mean yeah totally unnecessary 